Hi, my name is Hanoch Piven. I'm an artist, and you and I will create together the faces of Amdox. And by doing so, we will tap into your creativity factor. Actually, I'm going to ask you to draw, to create a self-portrait, a picture of your face. But uh, don't worry if you feel like you can't draw or you don't know how to paint. We have a system in which everybody will be able to create something. We are going to work with objects, with everyday objects that all of us have at home or in our offices. I have been making faces with objects for over 25 years, and the objects help me tell something about the people that I picture. You can see, for example, the banana for Woody Allen, the microphone for Barbara Streisand, the light bulb for Einstein. And what is interesting is that the objects speak in different ways. Some objects speak in a more direct way, like for example, the eyebrows and eyes of Obama. But how about the nose of Obama? The Aladdin lamp that I use for the nose opens a space in which you start thinking about what is the meaning of it? What is the connection between an Aladdin lamp and Barack Obama? Actually, there is a connection between this way of working and innovation. Because creating a portrait with objects is really the opposite of assembling some furniture that we bought at IKEA. There is no step-by-step -step instructions. It is actually the opposite of driving on a highway where everything is very direct and clear. And it's more like driving in a scenic route where we are seeking, we are looking around, we are searching, we are paying attention, we see. And uh, how do we teach our brain to see what's around us? How do we trick it into looking at the obvious in a new way. So one way to do that, and one fun way to do it, is to search for found faces. The world around us is filled with found faces. We not just see the faces, but we even perceive their expressions. And that empathy that we have when we look at the found faces is really the place where the creativity exists inside our brain. This is where the creativity factor is. The way I started making pictures this way is actually a very telling story, I feel, about creativity. I started making pictures this way because I couldn't draw any other way. I was stuck. I wasn't happy with my drawing. And uh, being stuck got me out of my default mode and uh, I started to look around me and look for other ways of drawing. And as I was drawing a picture of Saddam Hussein, I was looking at his mustache and a box of matches appeared next to my illustration. And I realized that I could use the matches as the mustache. It was a total coincidence. It was a happy accident. But those happy accidents are there all the time and we need to learn to look at them, to discover them, to pay attention to them. And it's easier sometimes to do that when we get out of our comfort zone. So today, creating this way is an opportunity for you to get out of your comfort zone in a pleasant, fun way. So since then, I have created over a thousand portraits for magazines and newspapers all over the world. But I have also watched thousands of people create their own self-portraits in my workshops using everyday objects. The objects help us tell stories about ourselves. They help us communicate. 
Each object communicates something. A hammer says something, a magnifying lens says something else, a ruler, a light bulb. So uh, I'm going to ask you to choose two objects to help try to tell something about yourself. The first object is an object that represents you in some way. Maybe it has a quality that you have. Maybe it reminds you of something. Maybe you can't even explain why you are attracted to that specific object. It's okay. Don't think first of an object and then look for it, but look around and see what objects inspire ideas and inspire something about yourself. So this is object number one. Object number two is an object which represents a strength of yours, something you do well and you're very proud of. So inspired by these two objects, start thinking about what you are made of and create a visual representation, a portrait of your face. Now, don't worry if it doesn't look like you. Don't worry if not all the objects that you bring have some deep meaning. Bring many objects and start playing with them. Start moving them on the board and see what happens. Remember, many ideas will start happening totally by coincidence. So you should have, first of all, you should have a board, a board to work on. And uh, at this point, we're just playing with the objects, trying different possibilities. And slowly, we start arriving to something that we like, and perhaps we feel that it represents us in some way. The important idea is that the portrait will tell something about you. This is our goal. So I feel that I'm kind of uh, happy with what I'm doing right now. Maybe I'll put some hands, maybe a hand like this, and maybe a hand like that. So actually now I want to create uh, some kind of contour for the face, but I'm not drawing, there is no pencil. You can use, and I will use, color paper. So uh, any simple paper and scissors, and uh, I can cut a shape with it of a, a face and put it here like, like this. Okay, I like it like this. So now it's time to glue. We can use two types of glue. For the paper and for the light stuff, we can use uh, simple plastic liquid glue, any kind of liquid glue. And for the heavier stuff, we can use a hot glue gun, which is a magnificent invention. After you are done, I want you to photograph your creation from above. So once you have your picture, you share it here. Alternatively, you might want to use your iPad and download my application, Faces I Make, Right Brain Creativity, which will be available to you during Innovation Week. And uh, in this app, you can create everything just digitally by moving objects around. So it's the same story. You choose objects which represent you, and once you're happy and done, you share it. We will collect all the portraits you made and create together the collage of the faces of Amdocs.